everyone, I'm Pia and I just wanted to share with you some of my personal tips for getting a really natural makeup look that is fresh on your skin, doesn't take that much time, you can really use the products that you already own to MacGyver them into just the exact formulation that you have been looking for. So whenever I'm at Sephora or Bloomingdale's or Barney's looking at makeup, I'm looking for a few major things. Number one, I'm looking for colors that <laughs> match my skin tone because I'm very pale, so that's always difficult to find. Uh, number two, I'm looking for very, very specific consistencies. I have very thin skin. Um, you can really kind of almost see through it. I'm all, And also, since I'm very pale, um, lots of foundation, even though it's marked as light or medium coverage can end up looking very flat and mask like on my skin. So I want to show you a few things of how you can use the makeup that you already own to create the products that you are desperately looking for. So my number one tip is to make your own BB cream tint and moisturizer etc. Obviously if you're really obsessed with full coverage this is not for you but I think that people need to stop doing a full coverage foundation as much as they're doing because they can get just of a beautiful effect with less base. So what I start with is the Ambrilise Lay Cream Concentrate. This is super famous, very popular, has been in the beauty industry for a long time. So what I'll do is on the back of my hand I'll just do a nice little blob. I actually mix two concealers to get the shade and coverage and lasting power that I want. So first I take the Tom Ford waterproof foundation concealer. So I bought this as a concealer. I was never intending to wear it as a foundation. So you can use any kind of waterproof um, concealer that matches your skin tone that you would like. I find that when you take a concealer and mix it with a really emollient moisturizer, what you end up getting is some of the staying power from the waterproofness of this concealer and the density of the pigment, but you get a much more wearable foundation and it ends up being really beautiful. So I take maybe, I put maybe, I would say half as much of this concealer as the Embryolise. And then my second trick is I'll take the Kevin Aquan Sensual Sin Enhancer in SX03 and I will just dab the tiniest pinprick amount in with my little mix and then I'll just go in with my finger and tap that around and I get a really nice shade that really matches my skin and you can see that it's still translucent and it definitely will let the natural skin show through. However, because you get both of these really heavy duty products that have really dense pigmentation and waterproof qualities, you get that staying power and also that really beautiful finish that we're all looking for in sort of like gel BB cream products that are sometimes hard to find. So. That's my first tip. My second tip is to make your own under eye concealer. So I actually don't wear under eye concealer every day. I don't have dark circles and sometimes I have under eye bags a little bit. We all get them if you don't sleep, but I feel like most people think that they have dark circles when really they don't. However, I think that you can use something closer to like a Touche Claude or a Mr. Light from Givenchy under eye radiance pen to brighten up the area and give you a more like awake, youthful look. But both of those products are like $30 and um, you probably don't wanna go out and buy them. So what I do is I already have a concealer that I've had for a while now. It's the Classique uh, MAC Studio uh, Finish Concealer, NC15 obviously. So what I'll do is I'll take some of this on my finger and then I'll take the MAC Strobe Cream in Peach Light, which has that pinky iridescent color that really helps correct under eye discoloration. So I will just mix those two on my fingers. And then I will get also a sheer 
a corrector color, but it has that radiance from the strobe cream and the peachy pigmentation from both the NC15 color and the peach light. And I will just take that and tap it underneath my eyes, but not getting anywhere near the lash line. I'll just tap it right on that sort of like crease where your bags start and then just tap it. And you can blend it up a little bit just so it looks a little more seamless. But getting too close to the lash line, I find that's when you get the creases. That's when you start getting a little bit too unnatural looking. This, you can really just tap in and you just look a little more fresh and you don't have to spend $30, $40 on a specific pen. You can just take two multi-purpose items and mix them together. So my next trick is instead of using a brush, like a big fluffy brush like this to do your powder, since I really like to maintain the dewy finish, what I'll do, I have this Kevin and Kwan um, Gossamer Loose Powder in Diaphanous. This is way too expensive and no one needs this, but if you have a loose sort of radiance powder, I suggest getting either, this is like a very old school style puff, but I actually really like it. Now they're really popular in cushion compacts, but you can also use a beauty blender. And I'll take some of the powder on a sponge or beauty blender and press it into just the areas that you either have put concealer on that you want to set or areas on your face that you're gonna be prone to shine like your nose and just up maybe on your forehead and your T-zone. And then press that powder in instead of swooping and swishing it around, which I think causes more disruption to whatever base product you have underneath. And also that is what starts lifting up any flakes. Um, you can see I have a little breakout here that has some dryness around it, but by using a powder and just pressing it in, you get to have really precise placement of the powder just where you need it, leaving everything else dewy, as well as keeping all of your dry skin kind of flat against your face and not starting to lift it up and causing extra texture. So my, my last um, secret is that after doing a highlight product, um, usually I like to layer the strobe cream and peach light with a tiny bit of the wet and wild in precious petals but to kind of take down the texture that a powder highlight often will give you on the side of your cheeks what I'll do is I'll take my all-time favorite multi-purpose product the Lanisol 100% lanolin cream that is marketed uh, as nipple cream for nursing mothers. But basically all that means is that is one of the safest things that you can use on or in your body, in your mouth, because it's made for infants to be able to essentially put their mouth on. So it's 100% lanolin, which is the, I guess, sebum-like wax that grows on, or that comes from sheep's wool. And when they brush or shear this sheep, they can collect this lanolin, this natural waxy substance, and then they clarify it so that it's 100% safe for human consumption and use. And you get basically this really nice, thick, um, really glossy cream. And I use it, you can see kind of how sticky it is. I use, you only need the tiniest amount, and I use it on my lips. As a glossy lip balm and then what I'll do is I'll go over my highlight just tap it the rest into my fingers I'll go over my highlight and just really gently tap onto my fingers and then rub gently pat it out and this is better than any face gloss from milk or uh, Mac or make or any any company that's selling an overpriced face gloss this melts into the skin better it has amazing staying power and you get that nice little glossy look and you can keep it in your bag it's six bucks you can get it at the drugstore or order it online on Amazon 
and it's really great. So that is all my tips and tricks for making your own perfected, natural looking cosmetics with products that you already own. And obviously you don't need to use all the products that I used. Everything that I used here can be uh, replicated at the drugstore or most of us already have a lot of these products, a moisturizer, a concealer, even a liquid highlight. And um, definitely something I would suggest is getting this, but all these things you can use to combine together in a way to replicate products that you might want to waste your money on. So um, thanks for watching this video. My name is Pia again, and let me know if you have any questions or comments below, or if you have any tips that you want to share with me for getting cosmetics exactly as you like them. Have a great day.